Hi, this is Benjamin from Travel Club and today I'm going to teach you how to restring your acoustic guitar. Alright, so as you can see, my high E string has already snapped. You can see that my strings are uh, kind of rusty around here already. Okay, so it will start to uh, snap. So the first thing you need to do is of course to uh, unwind the packs a little, okay, so that it doesn't snap straight into your face. So how to unwind it, face front view of the knob, okay, and turn clockwise. Okay, and you just loosen. Next, you can actually cut it straight away. You can use okay, this device over here. Uh, you can get it at, at any uh, music shop. If you don't have this, you can just use a wire cutter. Uh, you can use uh, other tools that you can find at home. So what I you can do right now, you can actually cut the strings. So remove the strings from the tuning knob. Okay. All right. So the next part will be removing the pins uh, from the from the bridge. All right. So sometimes it's easy to pluck it out by just putting some strength to pluck pluck it out. There's also something like this, or you can use pliers as well. But I don't really recommend pliers because they try they will have a dent on the the bridge pins. Okay, so as you can see this kind, they have uh, some, some form of groove that can help you to uh, remove the bridge pins. You can go underneath it, alright, and you can pull it up. Okay, so I'll remove the rest. Alright, so these are the six bridge pins. Alright, so I have some strings here. Okay, so typically you, uh, you can look at the, the packaging of your uh, of your guitar strings. Okay, they will tell you which string is for uh, is for what note is it is it on on each string. Okay, so the first one I'll take the high E string. Okay, so you can see there's a ball bearing over here. Okay, that's for acoustic guitar. So what you do is you drop the ball bearing inside. Okay, the bridge pins. You can see there's a cup. Okay, there's a cup design. Okay, so the cup should point towards the top of the guitar. So you, as you press the bridge pin down, okay, you pull the string up. Then uh, next, it depends on your own uh, habits. Okay, you can actually put all the strings first before uh, stringing them. Okay, or you can tune one by one. Okay, but typically I like to uh, put all the strings in first. Okay, next one. Alright, so the next part would be actually uh, putting the strings through. Okay, so I'll usually start with the first string, the high E string. So I'll just uh, slot it through. So you just trace it up, okay, and the first closest one, okay. So how I usually do it, okay, I'll pull it taut all the way to the next knob, and then I'll give it some slack from this knob, take this as a measure, I'll push it down, okay, and because you don't want the, such a long string to keep turning round and round and uh, blocking your way, so what I usually do is, once I give it, give it some slack, I'll use the next knob as a reference as well, and I'll cut it off. Okay, then I'll just put it at the, here, at the nut. So from here, what you can do is, so you, to tighten the strings, okay, you'll go anti-clockwise. Okay, so the tail of the string should always be on top. Okay, so you can go... Okay, so I won't, I won't go all the way yet, so I'll just give you some uh, tension. Okay, then I'll move on to the next string. And same thing for the next string. Okay, so for this string, the G string, okay, you go all the way up okay, to the top of the headstock. Push it back with some slack and cut off the top. And with that, 
that, same thing. You can always, if you don't have this tool, you can just use your fingers. Doesn't really matter, just a lot slower. Alright, and you do the same thing for the other side. Alright, and for the last part would be tuning of the guitar. Okay, it's very important not to cut off the the loop, the last the ends of the strings yet. Okay, before you tune them. Okay, because as you tune them, the strings will get shorter and shorter. Okay, so if it's too short, you'll unwind itself. Okay, so it's very important to tune it first. Okay, so I'll tune my guitar. So as you just uh, tune the guitar, okay, you just keep going out of tune for a while. So what I recommend would actually to stretch the strings a little bit, okay, so it gets seasoned faster. Okay, and once you're done, you go back to tuning again. All right, so once you have tuned, uh, once you have confidently tuned it, okay, you can just strum a little bit to make sure that it is it's in tune. Once you're confident, okay, you can cut off the loose ends. Okay, you cut as close as possible, but leave some gap just in case. Okay, if you do not have this tool, okay, you can use a wire cutter. If you really don't have a wire cutter, um, you can use a nail clipper, but it will destroy your nail clipper after that. Okay, and this is how you restring your guitar.